Stepping into the world of Babylon, we find ourselves face to face with a man named Arkad, the central figure and compelling protagonist of George S. Clayson's timeless masterpiece, The Richest Man in Babylon. This man, Arkad, is not just a character but a symbol of financial wisdom, a beacon of hope for those entangled in the intricacies of personal finance. His story, his struggles, his journey forms the backbone of the plot, driving the narrative towards an enlightening climax. Now let's delve a bit deeper into the author's life. George S. Clayson, an American author, soldier and businessman, is revered for his remarkable contribution to literature, particularly in the domain of personal finance and wealth. In the year 1926, Clayson took a bold step that would auspiciously mark his entry into the realm of literature. He penned down The Richest Man in Babylon, a seminal work that would go on to inspire millions around the globe. This book, a splendid amalgamation of gripping narratives and practical financial advice, has seen phenomenal sales of over 2 million copies. It has been translated into more than 20 languages, a testament to its universal appeal. The popularity of the book spreads far and wide, transcending boundaries of nations, languages and cultures. Its lucid and engaging style of writing has attracted a diverse readership, from ambitious entrepreneurs to curious students, from seasoned investors to novices in finance. In the hearts of countless readers, the richest man in Babylon has held an irreplaceable position. Its captivating tales, set in the historical backdrop of ancient Babylon, offer more than mere stories. They offer wisdom, insights, and practical lessons on financial management. They guide the reader, enlightening them about the path to wealth and prosperity. This timeless classic continues to inspire generations, offering practical financial wisdom through captivating tales set in ancient Babylon. Arkad, a humble scribe turned wealthy businessman, serves as our guide through the intricate maze of economic knowledge. He was once a modest scribe, but with time and dedication, he transformed his life and became a prosperous businessman, a beacon of success in the realm of commerce. Now, he uses his wisdom and experience to the path towards financial prosperity for those willing to learn. Arkad shares the secrets of his wealth accumulation with fervent pupils, eager to listen and learn. He unravels the mystery of wealth creation, making it accessible to all. His teachings are based on the power of simple yet effective financial principles that, when understood and applied, can lead towards financial independence. The cornerstone of Arkad's teachings? It's the principle. Pay yourself first. This concept means setting aside a fixed portion of all earnings for savings before meeting any other expenses. Arkad emphasizes the importance of this principle, illustrating its significance through various examples and scenarios. The idea of paying oneself first might appear simple, yet it holds an immense power to transform one's financial situation. Arkad underscores the significance of this principle by explaining the profound effect it has on one's financial health. He asserts that this disciplined approach to saving is not just about accumulating wealth, but also about gaining control over one's financial destiny. This disciplined approach to saving is the first step towards building wealth and achieving financial security. Another key lesson from the book is the magic of compound interest. The power of this incredible financial concept is beautifully illustrated through the compelling story of Dabasir, a humble camel trader who unwittingly becomes a shining testament to the virtues of compound interest. Dabasir, just an average man from a modest background, wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, nor did he have a grand inheritance waiting for him. But what Dabasir had was the wisdom to understand the potential in small amounts of money. He realized that even the smallest sums, when invested wisely, could grow exponentially over a period of time. The narrative follows Dabasir's journey as a wise investor, where he starts with investing small amounts of his earnings. It wasn't a lot, but Dabasir knew it was a start. Each time he earned from his investments, he had a choice to spend it and enjoy gratification, or to reinvest it, allowing it to grow even more. And Dabasir, time and again chose the latter. This is how the concept of compound interest came into play. Each time Dabasir reinvested his returns, he was not just earning interest on his initial investment, but also on the interest that his money had already earned. This cycle kept snowballing, resulting in a small fortune before Dabasir even realized it. The tale of Dabasir is a testament to how small amounts of money can snowball into significant wealth over time. 
Through a disciplined approach to investing and by consistently reinvesting returns from investments, individuals can significantly speed up their wealth growth. This allows them to reach their financial goals quicker than they ever thought possible. But the wisdom of the richest man in Babylon doesn't stop at saving and investing. This profound book delves deeper, offering insight into the intricacies of personal financial management, a topic that is of paramount importance in today's fast-paced world. It emphasizes on the fundamental but often overlooked concept of living within one's means, a principle that can lead to a sense of financial stability and of mind. While many contemporary narratives glorify the idea of living in the moment, with little regard for the future, the richest man in Babylon takes a different path. It warns of the potential risks and dangers associated with debt, especially when it is used to fuel an extravagant lifestyle, a path that can lead to a cycle of financial distress and endless worry. The book suggests that debt, rather than being a tool to achieve desires, can become a weight that impedes personal growth and financial freedom. This cautionary message is delivered alongside a strong emphasis on the virtue of modest living. Instead of promoting self-indulgence, it prompts the readers to adopt a simple yet fulfilling lifestyle. This lifestyle, coupled with diligent saving, can pave the way for financial security and independence, freeing individuals the shackles of monetary stress and worries. To provide a holistic approach to financial management, the book also advocates for disciplined saving. It encourages its readers to treat saving as a non-negotiable aspect of their finances, a commitment that should not be compromised, even when times are tough. This approach, it argues, builds a financial cushion that can prove invaluable in times of need. In essence, it encourages readers to prioritize financial security by living modestly and saving diligently. Taking a step further, Clayson drives home the value of personal responsibility for one's financial situation. He illustrates this point by weaving in narratives that serve as morality tales for the reader. Clayson's approach is not to merely state ideas, but rather he paints vivid, relatable pictures for the readers. His characters suffer, fail, triumph, and rejoice, all while learning the rudimentary principles of financial independence. In his book, Clayson doesn't simply preach about taking control of one's own finances. Instead, he introduces us to characters who have faced financial challenges, and through their stories, we are gently nudged towards making better financial decisions. He uses these narrative elements to subtly communicate his message, emphasizing the empowering nature of financial knowledge. The characters in Clayson's books are not white-collar financiers. They are ordinary people with everyday jobs and typical life situations, which makes the lessons learned all the more relatable. He presents case studies of individuals who rose from humble beginnings to attain financial stability, simply understanding how money works. He emphasizes the importance of not blaming external factors for one's financial woes, but rather looking inward and recognizing the power one has to affect change. Further, Clayson underscores the futility of relying on luck for financial prosperity. He beautifully illustrates that luck can be as fleeting as a desert mirage, whereas knowledge is a tangible asset that can be harnessed for real growth. He challenges the reader to move beyond their current paradigm, urging them to be proactive, not reactive. Clayson's book does not only nudge readers to stop blaming external factors or relying on luck. Instead, it urges them to take proactive steps to enhance their financial literacy and make informed decisions about their money. In a nutshell, The Richest Man in Babylon remains a classic must-read book for anyone seeking financial freedom. This timeless masterpiece which has guided numerous individuals to the path of wealth is more than just a financial guidebook. It is an insightful collection of parables that impart the fundamental principles of financial management, which are, astoundingly, as relevant today as they were in ancient Babylon. The book uses compelling storytelling techniques to convey the secrets of accumulating and growing wealth. It draws from the experiences of inhabitants of ancient Babylon, who were notably the wealthiest people of their time. Those who dive into the pages of this invaluable book will find themselves on a journey through time, exploring the thriving city of Babylon, its prosperous residents, and the wealth they accumulated. This book is not just about providing a roadmap to riches, it is also about instilling in readers the habits and mindset that can lead to a life of financial independence. It emphasizes the importance of saving, investing wisely, and avoiding debt principles that are crucial to anyone aiming to control their financial future. Never before has a book made such profound financial concepts so accessible and enjoyable to learn. 
These invaluable lessons are wrapped up in engaging tales of merchants, herdsmen, and moneylenders, bringing them to life in a way that resonates with readers. While the context may be ancient, the wisdom contained in The Richest Man in Babylon is timeless. Each parable is a treasure trove of knowledge, offering practical advice and strategies for money management, making it a must-have tool in anyone's financial arsenal. The book doesn't promise quick fixes or shortcuts to wealth. Instead, it promotes the idea of consistent effort and smart decision-making, which over time can yield impressive financial results. Immerse yourself in the wisdom of ancient Babylon and take control of your financial future. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more summaries on a wide range of topics. Our channel is a hub where ideas are shared, concepts are explained, and knowledge is expanded. We believe in the power of learning and strive to make this process enjoyable, accessible, and easy for everyone. We cover a multitude of subjects, each handled meticulously to ensure we offer comprehensive and insightful content. Our finance summaries delve deep into the world of economics, bringing you the latest trends and understanding of fiscal matters. We break down complex theories into simple, digestible information to help you stay ahead in the game. In the realm of self-improvement, we aim to inspire and guide you on your journey towards personal development. We bring to the table profound insights from renowned experts, tips on productivity, mind hacks, motivation techniques, and much more. Our goal is to help you realize your full potential and achieve your life goals. Our health and wellness summaries focus on holistic well-being. We navigate through the realms of nutrition, fitness, mental health, preventive care, and more. We aim to empower you to take control of your well-being and lead a healthier, happier life. Our history summaries transport you back in time, enabling you to experience different eras and cultures. We explore significant events, influential figures, societal changes, and the impact they have had on our world today. We aim to bring history to life, making it immersive and engaging. So much more awaits you here. We cover topics like technology, science, arts, culture, and myriad others all meticulously researched and presented in an engaging way. We are dedicated to helping you expand your horizons and quench your thirst for knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more summaries on a wide range of topics including finance, self-improvement, health and wellness, history, and so much more.